Use the course administration tool to copy components from another course offering, export components to be reused in another learning management system, or import components created in other learning management systems. On the page for the course offering you want to copy components into, click Import Export Copy Component from the Course Administration widget on the home page. In the Current Course Components section at the top, you can click the View Details arrow next to a component to see existing items. When you have selected the Source Course Offering or Template, the bottom section of the page expands to list the components available. Select the components you want to copy using the checkbox next to each component. To copy only certain items from a component, choose Select Individual Items to Copy. This allows you to select individual quizzes, Dropbox folders, rubrics, etc. You can change the items selected within a component by clicking Modify. This takes you to the Select Items page for that component. The Copy Summary page is displayed, showing the copy progress. When a component has been successfully copied, a green check mark appears beside it. If any component fails to copy properly, a red X will appear beside it. From the Import Export Copy Components section, select Export Components. If you want to include any files associated with components, select Include Course Files in the Export Package. Click Start. Select the components you want to export using the checkbox next to each component, or choose the Select All Components checkbox. When you are finished selecting components, click Continue. When the process is complete, click Finish. A final export summary page is displayed where you can download the export file. To download the file, click on the link that says Click here to download the export zip package. Choose a location to save the file and save it. Note, if you do not download the file from this screen, it is lost. You cannot download it later. From the Import Export Copy Components section, select Import Components. Locate and select the import file. This is the file created when you exported the content from another software package or another Desire to Learn course, or the file provided by a content vendor. The pre processing screen appears showing the progress as the system downloads and opens the file. A green check mark appears next to each stage as it is completed. When both stages are complete, click Continue. In the Select Components to Import section, all of the components found in the import file are listed. Select the components you want to import using the checkbox next to each component. When you have finished selecting individual items from components, the Confirm Import Selections page appears. Click Continue. The Import Course Material page appears, showing the import progress. When the process is complete, click Continue to see a final summary screen with a list of any notes or warnings. The Course Administration area saves you from having to recreate your course's resources from scratch and can significantly reduce the amount of work required to create or reoffer a course.